Easy Catalog is a fantastic plugin for Adobe InDesign that transforms the way you design and layout content. With Easy Catalog, you can effortlessly link any existing data source to InDesign, enabling you to create stunning designs with complete automation. Say goodbye to the manual grind and unleash your creativity with Easy Catalog. Easy Catalog seamlessly integrates with a vast array of database managers. Whether you're working on Windows with Microsoft Access across both Macintosh and Windows with FileMaker, or tapping into the robust capabilities of MySQL, Oracle or Microsoft SQL Server, Easy Catalog has got you covered. Of course, it can also integrate with product information managers like SalesLayer, Salsify, Akineo, or Perfion. It doesn't stop there. Excel spreadsheet data is also at your fingertips. Easy Catalog effortlessly adapts to even the simplest data forms, allowing you to incorporate information from plain text files with comma, tab, or any delimiter of your choice. And for the tech-savvy professionals, Easy Catalog offers the advanced option to import data stored in XML and JSON documents. No matter the source, data comes alive as we craft eye-catching catalogs, vibrant brochures, or detailed price lists. Choose to work in the native InDesign format or go straight to PDF. It's all about bringing efficiency and design together. Let's kick off this tutorial with a deep dive into the essential elements that make up our catalog. We're not just going to talk about automation, we're going to master it. We will delve into the meticulously crafted catalog of an imaginary miniature vehicle shop. Let us first orient ourselves with the catalog's architecture, organized by discerning product families. Observe each category's nomenclature, positioned in the upper margins on our master pages. As we will see later, this is a furniture element, that is, it is created on the master page and then automatically updated on each of the pages of the document. Within each family, a representative product is featured. Its image, name, and description serving as an ambassador to its category. All the product references pertaining to the same category are grouped by brand and presented as tables. Table headers are cream-colored, bearing the respective logo and name. Brands debuting in our collection are marked distinctively with an icon of newness. The table body displays a row for each product. With columns for code, name, a brief description, the scale of reproduction of the model, and the price. The footer, a constant through the pages, carries the store logo, the page numeral, and a concise slogan that encapsulates ethos of our company. Consider for a moment the traditional method of manually assembling this catalog. It is a labor-intensive process, consuming valuable time better spent on creative endeavors rather than repetitive tasks. Enter the age of Easy Catalog integrated with InDesign to automate this process. Here, we shall demonstrate the transformation of data into a polished catalog in seconds, even with a substantial inventory. We first click on a master text frame, select the records in the Easy Catalog panel, and choose Paginate. With Easy Catalog, the pagination dialog is the control panel for our operation. We will explore each option it offers in due course. Now I click the OK button and, within moments, a new catalog is born, a product of efficiency and precision brought to you by the synergy of Easy Catalog and InDesign. Now that we've observed the remarkable speed, efficiency, and reliability of Easy Catalog, it's time to delve into the specifics of this project's execution. Here we can see the master pages used to paginate the catalog. They contain all the elements that are consistently repeated on each page such as the page number, the company name, and the commercial slogan. In the upper right corner of each page, we can see an unusual element, a field marker. I used Easy Catalog to insert it. Field markers consist of a text, the field name, enclosed within blue square brackets. Since these markers are placed on the master page, Easy Catalog refers to them as furniture data. When we populate the catalog with products, selecting a command to update the master elements will suffice. This will pull the information directly from the items that have been placed on each page. We will now examine another essential component for automating this catalog, the formatting rules. 
These rules, stored in an InDesign template, act like mini-templates, telling EasyCatalog which fields to place, where, and how. Let's take a closer look in more detail. This formatting rule, which we have labeled as Category, is used whenever our data marks the beginning of a main product category, such as ships, cars, or trucks. As illustrated, this rule consists of two elements, an image frame and a text frame, which are grouped together. The image frame is designed to display the corresponding product image for each category. For automatic placement of the image, the frame must be tagged with Easy Catalog. Once tagged, Easy Catalog will automatically insert the content from the image field into this frame. The text frame includes two field markers, one for the product category and another for the description. Each marker is formatted with a distinct paragraph style. Easy Catalog will adhere to these styles, ensuring that when record data is input, InDesign will apply the respective styles to each field accordingly. Let's now review the other formatting rule. At first glance, it may appear much more complex than the previous one, but looks can be deceiving. Essentially, this is a simple InDesign table featuring two header rows, one with a brown background and the other transparent, and a row for data. The cells in the first row have been merged to create a single elongated cell. Here, we have another labeled image frame, this time with the value of the brand logo field. Next to it, we've typed an M space, and finally, the field marker that corresponds to the brand name, product brand. Note that we have applied a custom paragraph style for this specifier. To the right of the header, we have placed an image frame tagged with the product new field marker. If a brand is new, an icon will appear to indicate its novelty. Otherwise, the icon will be omitted. Finally, we have inserted different field markers into each cell, corresponding to the body of the table. Easy Catalog will automatically repeat this row as many times as there are unique references in each category. Now that we've reviewed the formatting rules, let's turn our attention to the data panel. In the window menu, the Easy Catalog Panels option displays a submenu, listing all the data panels we've imported into Easy Catalog. Currently, I have only one data panel, so it's the sole one displayed. This panel contains all the data needed to design a complete catalog. Remember that this data can be obtained by importing the contents of a PIM, a database, a spreadsheet, a comma or tab-separated text file, or an XML document. In this case, the data source is a Google Spreadsheet document. For those familiar with data merging in InDesign, it's important to note that Easy Catalog's capabilities go beyond inserting data from just a single record at a time. Easy Catalog can aggregate individual records to form a group, treating it as a single unit for pagination purposes. In this instance, we have organized the data by categories, such as cars, planes, boats, etc., and by manufacturer brands. Here, you can observe that the Classic Cars category encompasses 10 brands, and within that, the Exoto Design brand comprises three products. To add a category to the document, simply select the category name in the panel and drag it onto the formatting rule. Watch what happens when we drag the first record from the data panel to our formatting rule. Boom! Easy Catalog instantly positions the image, title, and description corresponding to the first category. If we drag in a different category, Easy Catalog swaps out all the elements with the new data. It's as simple as that. And what about a formatting rule that includes a table? In this scenario, Easy Catalog has automatically generated three rows and populated each field marker with the relevant content. Observe that the field marker for the new icon is not displaying any images. This is expected because this brand is not new and hence the new icon should not appear. But if I now drag in a brand that is considered a novelty, the icon will automatically appear within the corresponding frame. Everything we've seen so far can be accomplished effortlessly with Easy Catalog. The drag and drop method we've just seen is ideal for catalogs with a more freeform or perhaps unpredictable design. 
In such cases, you can create as many formatting rules as necessary and alternate their use to achieve a final design that has a handcrafted appearance. If I enable the populate on drag and drop feature, I can now simply select a record in the data panel and drag over a formatting rule, doing the same with the brands associated with this category. We can quickly assemble a complete page filled with dynamic data, including the corresponding icons and images, all in just seconds. Now if you're looking to create an entire catalog in a fully automated manner, the pagination module is your go-to tool. With this module, you can lay out hundreds of records with just a single click of the mouse. Let's dive in and see how it operates. Let's return to our master page for a moment. To enable Easy Catalog to paginate as many formatting rules in the catalog as needed and automatically create the necessary pages, we need to first create two master text frames and link them together. I go back to the first page of the document and place the text cursor inside the master text frame. Now, I select the first category, Classic Cars, in the data panel. Before paginating an entire catalog, it's advisable to start with smaller sets of elements to ensure the pagination rules have been correctly defined. Okay, the next step is to select the Paginate command from the data panel menu. The Pagination dialog box presents us with three pagination options, using a library, a rule set, or a snippet folder. For this tutorial, we'll utilize a rule set, which is one of the most common modes of pagination. Next, we'll select the rule set appropriate for this project. For our demonstration, we'll choose the only option available, Catalog. Easy Catalog then provides a variety of options for how items will be positioned on the page. We'll opt for the first choice, Into Text Flow. With this selection, Easy Catalog will insert each formatting rule into the text frame as an anchored object, essentially treating it like a text element. This approach allows the pagination to function like a text flow, meaning if we remove, add, or alter the dimensions of an element in the document, all the content will adjust to accommodate the changes in space. There are other pagination methods that might be better suited for certain types of projects. Let's briefly explore them. At position specified in the data places each formatting rule in an exact position on the page. However, for this to work effectively, our dataset must contain the corresponding fields that indicate the exact horizontal and vertical positions of each element. The option at page guide position is extremely useful for arranging elements into a grid. By placing guides on the page, Easy Catalog will automatically align the left and top edges of each formatting rule to the positions indicated by these guides. When you already know where to place an item on the page, but your data does not include the X and Y positions, the Using Master Pages option can be very helpful. First, define a master page design by placing the various field markers directly on the master pages. Easy Catalog will then populate these markers with your data, creating as many pages as necessary. Finally, if you need to create multiple individual documents and export them in PDF format, such as a series of data sheets, you should select the Template Document option. This will facilitate the generation of each document according to your specified template. For this exercise, we will paginate our products into the text flow. Now, let's explore the additional options available. If our rule set contains multiple formatting rules and our data includes specific information, dictating which rule Easy Catalog should use for each product reference, we can utilize the Asset Name drop-down menu. This menu allows us to select the field containing the name of the formatting rule that should be applied to each record. Break on Field Change option inserts a column or page break each time the value of a specified field changes. 
In our exercise, since we want each category to start on a new page, we can select the Product Category field from the drop-down menu. Easy Catalog will then paginate all the products in the first category. And when it reaches the first product of the second category, it will automatically insert a break. In the Break Type drop-down menu, we can specify the type of break to be used. For our exercise, we will select a page break. Additionally, if you want to ensure that a category always starts on an even or odd page, you can indicate this preference by choosing either the Even Page Break or Odd Page Break options. Let's leave the last two boxes. Use Element Geometry and Restrict Vertical Cell Merging to Page Boundaries, unchecked. These are advanced options that will not impact our current exercise. Finally, make sure to check the Allow Pagination to be Undoable checkbox. This enables the Edit Undo option, or Command Z on Macintosh and Control Z on Windows, to undo the pagination. This feature is particularly useful for conducting quick tests and adjusting our formatting rules based on the results. If you're not satisfied with the outcome, simply press Command Z, make new adjustments to the formatting rules, and paginate the document again. We are now ready to paginate our first category of products, so I press the OK button, wait a few seconds, and that's it. We have successfully paginated the entire category. To complete this document, we need to fill in the top box of each page with the name of the product category displayed on that page. As we discussed at the beginning of this tutorial, this box is a furniture element. Therefore, I need to select the Update Furniture option in the Data Panel menu. In just two seconds, it's automatically updated. One of the key features of Easy Catalog is its ability to maintain a constant link with the data source. This means that if there are any modifications in the data, a simple update is all that's needed for the document to automatically reflect these changes. Additionally, any corrections you manually make in the InDesign document can also be uploaded back to the original data source. This two-way synchronization ensures that both your InDesign document and the data source are always up to date and consistent. Let me demonstrate this with an example. This document, a Google Docs spreadsheet, has served as the data source for our exercise. It's structured simply. Each row in the spreadsheet represents a single product, with each column corresponding to a different data field. Now, let's demonstrate how changes in the data source reflect in Easy Catalog. I'll modify a piece of information in the document, specifically a price. I select the price field of the first record, which currently shows a value of 29.18, and change it to 50. To prompt Easy Catalog to verify if the data in this catalog is current, follow these steps. First, click on the information icon in the data panel. Then, click on the Synchronize button. Notice how Easy Catalog has detected the edits made in the original data source. In the Updated section, it indicates that there is a record that has been updated. Press the Done button to close the info dialog. Now, if you look at the data panel, you'll see an exclamation mark next to the Classic Cars category. Additionally, the colored box, which was green just a moment ago, has now turned red. Let's delve into this and find out more. Here's what happens next. Easy Catalog makes it very clear when there's a discrepancy between the data source and the document. It highlights the affected field in red and surrounds it with a dashed yellow line, almost as if it's saying, hey, look here, I'm here. This visual cue is hard to miss. If we double click on this highlighted field, we'll see it selected in the InDesign document. Remember our updated data set now contains the number 50, but the document still displays the old figure. Now let's see how effortlessly we can update the document to reflect the new data. Simply choose Update Document. Then select All. And that's it. A floating window will appear, showing us the results of the update. This process ensures that the document is now in sync with the latest data from our Google spreadsheet. We can now see how the updated price, 50, appears in the price column. The brackets around this field are green, 
indicating that the data is synchronized with the source. The data panel also shows a green square again, confirming that the data is updated and current. To clear the exclamation mark, which signaled a previous discrepancy, you can simply press the I information icon in the data panel and click on the Synchronize button. This step ensures that the data in our document is the most recent, fully aligned with the updates made in the Google spreadsheet. Ultimately, Easy Catalog streamlines the workflow by allowing your team's product specialists to concentrate on accurately entering data, while you, as a designer, can focus solely on the design aspects. This means you no longer have to manually input information. The days of tedious copy and pasting are over. To conclude this first tutorial, I'll demonstrate how we can craft an entirely different design using the same data set. For this example, let's envision creating an imaginary price list. This exercise will showcase the versatility of Easy Catalog in handling data to produce varied design outputs. To achieve this, we simply switch to a different rule set that incorporates a new set of formatting rules with an alternative design. In this case, we will group all the products by category. For each product, we will display its code, description, scale, and price. Let's select the first three categories from the data panel and choose Paginate again. Since we want to use the new formatting rule, we need to select a different rule set than in the previous exercise. I now press the OK button and boom, we have a completely new document, featuring a different design and structure, all while using the same data source. Notice how Easy Catalog has created three pages full of product information in just a few seconds. And that's not all. Easy Catalog has also automatically inserted a footer at the end of tables that span two different pages, guiding the reader by indicating that the table continues on the next page. In this first tutorial, we have explored the capabilities of Easy Catalog. In the next one, we will delve into a step-by-step -step guide on how to automate the creation of these two types of documents. Stay tuned!